Should pregnant women avoid traveling to high altitude areas? And is there a cutoff point for how many months you're pregnant that you should avoid going to high altitude areas? Yeah, this is a, a, another really interesting um, topic. And again, there's not loads of evidence, um, not loads of research data at the moment about this area. Um, there's, there's more data on um, women who already live at high altitudes who are pregnant, but not so much in, in pregnant travellers going to high altitude places. So a lot of the advice is quite conservative because obviously, as you can imagine, we try to um, reduce the risk as much as possible. But if you think about it, when you go to high altitude and there's lots, there's less oxygen, um, we're already kind of working extra hard just to cope with that oxygen, uh, that low oxygen um, in the body. Then if you're pregnant, you've also got the fetus who's also needs some oxygen. Um, so what you don't want to do is kind of put the, the mother's body and the fetus at um, competition with each other for oxygen, basically. So what the research what the evidence and the advice generally is is that to short stays at uh altitudes sort of middle and high altitudes sort of just over 2500 meters 3000 that kind of level short stays there where someone isn't doing any exercise are probably relatively safe for a pregnant person who um is having a low risk pregnancy where they're not having complications or haven't had lots of complications in previous pregnancies but whenever um, the altitude increases, the risk is potentially going to be higher because of that low oxygen situation and, and the competition between the mother and the fetus for that oxygen. And so there are potentially risks then of um, having problems with that pregnancy, in including things like miscarriage um, or whether the fetus um, isn't able to grow properly. Um, and the other really important thing is um, what is what that person is aiming to do at high altitude. So, for example, exercise is the most um, sort of high risk thing because the demand for oxygen is so high. So it's recommended really that um, if someone is really desperate to go to high altitude and they're pregnant, um, trying to do as short a stay as possible. But if they are, if they want to exercise, then making sure they're really definitely acclimatized to that altitude by spending probably a good couple of weeks there before they even start to think about doing exercise. Um, and, and trying to avoid a really strenuous exercise. For some people, though, it's it's just not recommended at all. So um, for anyone who's more than 20 weeks pregnant and has got any complications in their pregnancy currently or has had pregnancies in the past with complications or, um, you know, really unfortunate situations like, like miscarriages, it's just recommended not to go to high altitude because the risk isn't really well understood and... Um, you know, it would just be awful to, to go to high altitude and for something, you know, bad to happen when, when you didn't need to go to high altitude in the first place. So, you know, it's quite conservative advice, but it's based on the fact there's just not a lot of evidence, really. So really, overall, I'd say that the, the most important advice is to get personal uh, medical advice from whoever's looking after you in your pregnancy. So, you know, your midwife or GP or obstetrician, if you're obstetric led care. Um, because everyone's different, everyone's pregnancy is different and every sort of trip to altitude is going to be slightly different as well. Um, so it's important to get personal advice. The other thing I suppose to talk about there is, is not, it's not just necessarily the altitude that's um, a factor, but also, as we mentioned, what you're planning to do there because um, there's other issues to do with the pregnancy that might be relevant as well. Um, you know, if you're planning on doing um, certain activities like trekking or, you know, um, other activities or other sports or, you know, is it, do they themselves have risks for the pregnancy? So it's, there's lots of things to think about, really. So I think getting personal advice is, is really important there. Mm -hmm.